Well, one thing that I am beyond happy about is that I serve a God who is not able to be dethroned. He is the Lord of all. He has no opponent. He never will. And he will still be the Lord of all when this fallen world collapses and crushes the bunkers of the globalist and their friends. Now, in the news today and in the past several weeks, friends, this story just keeps coming back. And uh, let's take a look at it tonight. I know for a fact that this is not new technology we're going to talk about, but it, it bears taking a looking at because this is the technology technology of the beast, and it's already being used to track down some of his opponents. Now, this is entitled, Scientists Can Now Use Wi-Fi to See Through People's Walls. Take a look at this image. Isn't that creepy? Uh, researchers at Carnegie Mellon University can map human bodies through walls using Wi-Fi signals. The technology tracks key points on the body for detection, extending previous research into using Wi-Fi signals to locate humans. The study's authors position the breakthrough as helpful to privacy, even if it opens the possibilities for much easier, cheaper human tracking. It isn't immediately clear how using a Wi-Fi signal to track human movement through walls improves personal privacy, but that's what the new study from Carnegie Mellon University claims. In a recently published paper, the researchers expanded on the study of using Wi-Fi signals to map human movement, especially in low-light situations that make using their technologies less than desirable. Did you catch that, friends, in low-light situations? They wrote, we developed a deep neural network that maps the phase and amplitude of Wi-Fi signals to UV coordinates within 24 human regions. The results of this study reveal that our model can estimate the dense pose or position of multiple subjects with comparable performance to image-based approaches by utilizing Wi-Fi signals as the only input. This pathway opens the options for low-cost, broadly accessible human tracking through walls, as if, as if surveillance couldn't get any worse. High technology has successfully mapped people's movements through walls for years, and researchers at MIT have spent over a decade working on ways to more easily see through people's walls, whether using cell phone signals or Wi-Fi. And in the Carnegie Mellon study, scientists had Wi-Fi send uh, signals. Scientists had Wi-Fi signals send and receive a body's coordinates, and then they used this program called Dense Pose to map the body. Friends, that there's nothing new under the sun. I know they're acting like this is breaking technology. It is not new technology. It has been around for a very long time. But of course, they want to get this technology out, you know, to the lower level uh, agents in their military. So the globalists are pushing their technology now to track all of mankind, to have dominion over all of us. And ever since 9-11, actually, surveillance technology, it's been pushed for what they call the peace and security of all. And we know that it was all an agenda to arrive at this very moment in time, the doorway to the tribulation. Technology that will be used to overcome the saints of God and those who will not bow down and worship the beast. Now, I believe these weapons are already being used uh, if you have come against the globalist agenda. They even use direct energy weapons through Wi-Fi routers. So we should not be surprised at any of these things. When you see it in the news, hey, this is a new invention, just, you know, go, wow, that there's nothing new. This is old technology, and they're just bringing it forth for the public consumption. But 
Friends, the Lord himself, you know, he said that difficult days would come. And if you are living in Nigeria, China, Iran, Iraq, North Korea, Afghanistan, those days are already here. They use Facebook Messenger in the Middle East to track down Christians. They use WhatsApp. They, they use <clears throat> technology such as this. But we are to continue to do what we are here to do, and that is to be the salt and the light of the world. Jesus says, do not fear those who can kill the body. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And this world is not our home, is it? But the Lord instructs us to watch and to wait and testify of his goodness in the earth. So share the eternal hope that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ, friends. I hope that you have a very blessed weekend. I thank you for those prayer requests that were underneath our last video. And we're going to be praying over those requests throughout this weekend. And if the globalists are looking through your walls, hey, make sure that they see you praying and studying your Bible and uh, worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what they're going to see me doing. All right. Amen, friends. We'll talk to you again real soon. Good night.